Hello, my fellow YouTubers. I'm back after a long hiatus. I'm so sorry, but I'm just coming back today with an update. Um, since I got so many emails about my condition regarding um, hypoaldosteronism and adrenalectomy, so I just wanted to come back and give an update on what's happening, where I am, how I'm doing, and so forth. So, I told you in a recent video that I had to have surgery due to a small growth on my adrenal gland, on my right adrenal gland. Well, I've had surgery and it's been over a year now and I'm happy to say that I'm completely fine. Um, my blood pressure is normal. I'm no longer on any type of blood pressure medication. Um, I had, well, I was on Diavan. I've tried a lot of things such as, Ad, well, I can't think of the name of the other one, but anyway, I'm going to say Adipex, but, um, Xforge, that's what it was. So I, Xforge or something like that. But anyway, I've been off of my medication for like shortly after the surgery, like a few months after the surgery. So I'm off the medication, um, and I told you in the v previous video as well that I made a conscious effort to pretty much lose some weight. So, as of today, I've lost 71 pounds, and it's not any type of assistance from wraps and pills or shakes or anything. It's just cutting back, eating clean, training hard, cardio. Um, and going from there and that's basically it. I mean, I did give up sodas and I'm cutting back on actual, um, carbs and that type of thing. But outside of that, nothing major out of the ordinary type of fat diet thing. So that is pretty much what's happening. Um, I know I did have a friend that I met here on YouTube that is preparing for surgery as well. And I wish you luck. Um, I got a chance to email you back and forth, so I do wish you luck. Things will get better. Um, I really don't have any any symptoms or any side effects, you know, living with one adrenal gland. Um, really nothing, basically, because right after surgery, as I mentioned, you pretty much get back to feeling yourself. Like I always say that you'll understand how sick you was after surgery. You may not really realize it now if you suffer from this condition, but after you have your surgery, then you'll definitely know that, okay, I've not been up to par. You know, I'm back to myself now. So, And for some people, I guess it's the age factor, the, the gender, um, as to how quickly you will recover. But um, for me, it, like soon after surgery, my blood pressure dropped. You know, and I had to do my follow-ups with the doctor and everything. And he kept me on the medicine for a little while longer. And then I was permitted to be taken off. So, that's exciting. Um, yeah. It, like, I really have no side effects that I am aware of that affects my everyday life. So, I have no side effects that I can warn you about or have you be on the lookout. Now, and I don't know if you know, because I don't have side effects that I notice. I don't know if just the fact that I was trying to lose weight in the process as well. I don't know if the weight loss contributed to it, maybe. But um, there was nothing out of the ordinary that I had to do. Um, I was released from the doctor, you know, after the surgery. So I didn't have to go back to the specialist anymore. Um... And I'm pretty sure it would be different if you have to have two, um, both of your adrenal glands removed because you'll be on medication, you know, for the rest of your life. So I'm pretty sure they will probably want to follow up at least six months, a year or something like that. But as far as with me, I don't have to go back unless there's a problem. Um, I do stay in with my regular doctor and keep him abreast of any changes, any concerns or anything. But outside of that, that's pretty much it. So, um, I'm just trying to think of what else. That's pretty much it. And for those that ask about the weight loss, I just do my fitness pal. It's an app on your iPhone. I don't know if the Droid um, has it or not, but you can check in the market to see if it's available in the app market or whatever you call it on Droid to see. But it's my fitness pal and it pretty much allows me to plug in everything that I eat. It gives me like a, just pretty much a guideline on what to eat, 
or not even what to eat, but it just tells me the nutrition value in each meal that I eat. And if I want to lose an average of two pounds per week, it will set my micros for me my my fat my carbohydrates and my protein and it will let me know you need to stay under a certain percentage to meet your goal for the day so that's pretty much what i do and um i cut back on fried foods they i still enjoy it but i just don't do it every day and i gave up sodas completely so i'm just kind of working on low carb stuff now to just kind of see and i have you know i mean i do my cardio every day well, almost every day. I, I take the weekends off. But I do cardio Monday through Friday. Um, I like spinning a lot. So I do that for like 45 to an hour every day. Or I go walking. So I'm trying to incorporate, incorporate weights to, you know, just see about that. I don't know. <laughs> but that's pretty much what I'm doing. And... If you have any questions, you can feel free to email me or drop a comment below. But right now, things are well. Um, I haven't had any problems with anything, basically, at all. So, I would just encourage you, if you're facing this surgery or you have, you, you become aware that you have this, um, I hate to call it an illness, I would just say a condition, um, just just follow through with your doctor if you feel uncomfortable get a second opinion um, And then just go forth with the surgery and so you can get back to normal um, as I mentioned in the other video I did have a um, The surgery was done laparoscopically So I didn't have to get a traditional cut, but if you do have to get it just get it and be done with it and, and be back to yourself so just do that, and if you have any questions, you could feel free to contact me. Thank you.